My journey is interrupted. Deadly? I don't think so. Pesky? Oh my god! It's you again! Tegrin! You have coin, stranger? The doors of Mar closed off. Old Tegrin can give you a discount. Fine weapon and arms. Dwarven made. Oh! Times have changed in Ozma. But let's see that discount anyway. You have nothing but pitiful, crappy weapons. Ceremonial armored boots. Some other crap. Bits of crap. Do you have any gifts? Yes, painting of the Rebel Queen. Silver Sword of Mercy. Blue satin shoes. I thank you kindly. Goodbye. Liliana, I have something for you. Do you like shoes, I hear? Why not take some of these? Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. Morrigan, you would care for Silver Sword of Mercy? Interesting. No, probably not. Probably Alistair, maybe? I don't know. Painting of the Rebel Queen. Sten would probably appreciate that. When I next get round to speaking to him, but for now we venture forth to Lake Callanhad. Then once we are done here, the Dalish elves await us. Make her. Rest the souls of all. Make her help us or die trying. Isn't that the point? We could all be figments of someone else's life. Okay, yeah. The spoiled princess. Good day. Good day. Ah! What can I get for you? And don't say mead. We ran out of that a week ago. And don't say rum, either. Ran out the day before yesterday. And don't say brandy. What about ale? We've got something you could call ale, if you don't look too closely at it. And you had your tongue cut out by the chastened. Felsey! I need tables clean, girl! I've got a customer! Your... your name's Felsey? Aye. Who wants to know? I'm a friend of Orgrin's. And you admit it? You don't smell drunk. Get kicked in the head by a Bronto, did you? Ah, oh, he's a changed man, actually. Oh? What's he changed into, then? A horned toad? <laughs> Elsie, what in Andraste's name are you doing? The tables, girl! Shut up, you All fool! Right. She's talking, can't you see? i back to work. Oh. Well, looks like I'll have to bring him back here to speak to her himself. Maybe we can change party here, actually. There's no enemies around. I can't see why not. Let's take a look. Shall we change party? Yes, good. We replace Alistair for a second. Oh, blast it. Blast it. Blast your eyes! Uh, Liliana, get to leave as well? Oh, all that. Sten? Yes. Come forth, Ogren. Uh, let's go. Only because I want to give you a gift for a start. There you go, painting. Sten, you want a painting? Unexpected. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. At least you've got some manners. Ah, and if I go back to party camp, you might have some new conversation available. It's all coming together nicely. There she is. I'm gonna go talk to her. Look, you gotta back me up here. Got it? Don't worry. Don't you worry. Of course. We'll all stick together, eh? <laughs> Thanks, Warden. Now go get her. Just be ready to pry her off when she throws herself at me. We don't want to make a scene here. Well, don't pry her off me too soon. I mean, a little scene's all right. <laughs> yes, a little scene, not too big a scene. Are you sure though. you're not a baker? 
Because you got a sodding <gasps> nice set of buns. Slap. Well, look what the nug dragged in. I should have known you were in the neighborhood by the stench. What are you doing here? Uh, just trying to kick back with a pint. Fighting Darkspawn's a lot of sodding work, you know? You're fighting Darkspawn? Yes. This man took on an army of golems almost single-handed. It was a bit of pain, but it was a personal favor for the King of Orzammar, you understand? <laughs> the whole surface to choose from, and you just happened to come to my tavern? Eh, uh, well... Uh... Tell her it's fate. What? Oh, right. It's fate, Felsi. What can I say? Fate? The ancestors must have a sense of humor, then. Sure they do. <laughs> You've had a good look at Lady Helmy, haven't you? If her face isn't a joke the ancestors are playing, I'm a Brontos behind. <laughs> so, Lady Helmy must be a paragon of beauty, then. Tell I've been thinking about. I've been thinking about you, Felsi. What do you want, Ogryn? Nothing. Just thought I'd see how you were doing is all. Well, maybe that and <laughs> grease up the Bronto, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, you've seen me. You'll have to go back to Orzammar for the Bronto. Oh, come on, Felsi. Admit it, the Ogryn is much more fun than the men around here. Look at the bloody tavern keep over there for us. He's a miserable sort. If by fun you mean more likely to light farts on fire, yes. Oh well, it's been fun, Felsi. But I better go. Wait, you're leaving? You just got here. I haven't called you a shaft rat yet. Ooh. Well, you can't keep the archdemon waiting. You hurt its feelings and it might just turn the whole blight around and go home. Nobody wants that. Well, you don't need to fight it right oh, now, do you? She's I mean, dead, you could have a pint first. You could call me a surly Bronto. <laughs> I can tell you that you smell like nut droppings. I'll tell you what, I got some things I gotta do, but I'll come back for that pint when things are settled, you frigid deep stalker. Fine, but you better not keep me waiting, you worthless copper-plated sword cast. Wouldn't dream of it. Ah, true love, eh? True love wins the day. <laughs> you see, Ogren? Ah, take my example, and things work out fine. What would he have done without me whispering in his ear, giving him advice? Oh God, pins and needles in my foot. I've been sat in an awkward position. Okay. <laughs> I will get to those damn Dalish people <laughs> sometime in the near future. But first, party camp. Oops. This really is the last thing I do to before I go. Really, really, really. Maybe it's the last thing I would do. Depends what Sten wants. Sten, I hear you want to speak to me. You are not quite as callow as I thought. Ah! That was unexpected. Compliment! Uh, Thanks, I guess. You're welcome. So, will you now tell me why you were caged? I caged myself. A weak mind is a deadly foe, as you are no doubt aware. Hmm. Hmm, I do indeed. So exactly what happened? I told you before that I was sent here. I was not sent alone. I came to your lands with seven of the Beresad, my brothers, to seek answers about the Blight. We made our way across the Ferelden countryside without incident, seeing nothing of the threat we were sent to observe. Until the night we camped by Lake Callanhad. They came from everywhere. The earth beneath our feet, the air above us. Our own shadows harbored the dark spawn. I saw the last of the creatures cut down, too late. I fell. Oh! And what happened to the other canary? I am told no others survived. Oh, God. I don't know how long I lay on the battlefield among the dead, nor do I know how the farmers found me. I only know that when I woke, I was no longer among my brothers, and my sword was gone from my hand. What did you do? I searched for it, and when that failed, I asked my rescuers what had become of it. And? I killed them. 
With my bare hands. I did. I knew they didn't have the blade. They had no reason to lie to me. I panicked. Unthinking, I struck them down. Oh, dear. That's terrible. I know I cannot justify what I have done. My honor is forfeit. That sword was made for my hand alone. I have carried it from the day I was set into the Beresad. I was to die wielding it for my people. Even if I could cross Ferelden and Taventer unarmed and alone to bring my report to the Arishok, I would be slain on sight by the Antarm. They would know me as Solas, a deserter. No soldier would cast aside his blade while he drew breath. Shall I tell you something? That's a very sad story indeed. So, couldn't you just search for it then? If it means that much to you? If I knew where to look, it would be in my hand now. Hmm, good point, I suppose. So, where did you find the Darkspawn? Maybe that's a place we could start. Near Lake Callanhad. Oh, we just bloody been there. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll find it. Perhaps those words are empty, but thank you all the same. Trust me, my friend. They are far from empty. Okay, you're quite a bit taller than me, aren't you? <laughs> all right. We will search for this before we go speak with the elves. We're getting there. It's then revealed to you the reasons he went berserk and killed the farmers. He walk without his sword. The Beresad value their swords highly and do not part with them till death. The thought that his sword might be lost drove Sten into a mindless rage. You told Sten that you would try to track down his sword. And therefore, that is what we shall do. Come forth and find the sword that he seeks. Okay. Uh, Liliana? Indeed. Um, Morgan? Indeed. Uh, better take Sten with us, just in case we need his services. Yes. Right, let's keep our eyes open for this sword, shall we? Near Lake Callanhad again. It's <laughs> so we'll walk that way and hopefully stumble across the battlefield he speaks of. Or maybe not, as the case may be. Maybe the tavern keep may know something. Oh my god, there's actually more quests. But I'm not doing any more side quests now. I'm just doing the companion quests, then the main quest line, and that is it.